Hi everyone, so in this video, I will show you how to create an Upwork account. So I asked my friend for his information so that I can create an Upwork account for him since I already have an Upwork account. So luckily, he provided me his information including his email address, work experience, and educational attainment or educational experience that he had before. So let's proceed. First is we need to go to the upwork.com and we will click on sign up. After that, we will be given three options to choose for our email address. First is continue with Google or if you have a Gmail account. Second is continue with Apple or if you have an iCloud email address. Third is to provide our work email address. Uh, this is where you can put your other email address that has a different domain or if you have a domain yourself. If you also have like Outlook.com, Yahoo.com, or Hotmail.com, you can also put it here. Now, in our case, my friend actually has a Google account. So I will choose continue with Google. I will choose the account here and the password. So I will put the password here. And click next. So the next step is to select a country. So of course we will choose Philippines. Right here. And I want to is it hire for a project or work as a freelancer? So we are working as a freelancer. We would like to work as a freelancer, so we will choose work as a freelancer. And for the username, I will just put here. And then I would suggest to put a check mark here that uh, we let Upwork to send as updates or a very useful information to our email address. Me myself is also using that and I find it really helpful. And we uh, click on the, if you were fun in reading the user agreement, you can click that one and read everything here. Then after that, put a check mark here and create my account. Okay, your account has been successfully created. Actually, it's just that, but we need to fill up more information first. So we will um, wait for it to load. And then we will hit continue. So thanks for your interest in Upwork. As the world's largest talent platform, we connect millions of businesses with independent professionals like you. To get started, all you need to do is fill out the profile. So we click on continue. And then we will click on start my profile. So if you're going to read here, it says fill out your profile thoroughly and accurately. Second, submit your profile. Third, you'll receive an email within 24 hours letting us know that they accepted already our profile. So it's very important that we fill up the information um, honestly. So we will click on start my profile. Now you can upload your LinkedIn profile, but in your case, if you don't have yet a LinkedIn profile, you can fill it out manually. Actually, this is a new uh, feature that Upwork offers. I can still remember my time before when I created my Upwork account. It doesn't have this information first, but they already added this feature. So for now, let's fill it out manually. So what is the main service that you offer? So you can choose from the drop downs here of the service that you offer. So just choose one uh, from the drop down here in which um, it is related or near in this category that we have here before. So my friend is a graduate of IT and actually has an experience being a technical support. So I will choose IT and networking. In your case, just choose um, anything you hear which is near in your field or uh, the field that is really for you. So I will choose IT and networking again for my friend and I will choose here um, other because actually he has a lot of experience with um, IT or being a technical support. Then click next. So for the skills here we need to choose at least one skill. So I will put here technical and then they will um, give you 
suggestions here that you can choose from. So in this case, I will choose, let me just uh, email, let me just scroll in here. Now I will choose email technical support. So actually there's a lot that we can put here, nine skills. So let me just uh, fast forward this and then let me put here the skills. Okay, so knowing my friend, I am really positive that these are the skills that he have, but he can always edit this, but in this video, since this is just an example, so this is the skills that I chosen for him. In your case, just choose the skills, just take your time in choosing the skills that is really fit for you, because this will really affect when you will find a job that is related in your certain field. So after we choose the skills, I will click on next. Now, what is your level of experience in this field? So if you really don't have any experience at all, you or you are just starting, just choose entry level. Now, in my friend's case, since uh, he already have an experience being a technical support, I will choose intermediate. If you're going to choose expert, this is more like you have a comprehensive and deep expertise in your certain field. Um, for example, you're working for 10 years already in that field and you are really positive and you are really um, an experienced te uh, technician or an experience in your certain field, then you can choose expert. So for now, I will choose intermediate and I will click next. Now for education. We will add education, but if you don't have any educational attainment, you can always skip this stuff. Don't worry, it will not really affect your profile. This is just an ad, so I will add education. Let me just forward it. Now, in the description here, it would be better if we will put some description of the course that we have taken. In my friend's case, he is a graduate of a computer uh, technology or an IT. So I will put here what uh, basically describes his course. So let me just forward it. Okay, so we're done with the description. So again, put the name of your school here, area of your study, degree this is just optional and also the area of study the dates that you have attended to your school and a description of the course that you have taken and then click save after that click next so add your past work experience i will add employment here for the company let me just forward it okay and we will put the description of the uh, job that he has before so let me just put it here and let me just fast forward it okay so we are done uh, putting the description here of the account and now let's click save so you can also add a, another employment here if you work on a multiple companies or if you have a lot of experience before so you can put it here but in this case, my friend only has an experience as a technical support in Concentrix before, so let me just click Next. Now, English uh, proficiency, I would choose Fluent. And then you can add a language, which is Tagalog. And then it should be your native language or bilingual. And click Next. Now here, for the hourly rate, as a starter, I would suggest for you to have like start with a $10 uh, rate per hour, but it really depends on your experience and how good you are in your field. Now, let me just put here 10 for my friend. And if you see here, it says Upwork service fee. Now, if we will click on explain this fees, so it says here that the first $500 that um, you get from Upwork, there will be a fee of 20%. After that, from $500 to $10,000, the Upwork fee will be down to 10%. 
and over ten thousand dollars the upwork fee would be five dollars i mean five percent so this is also one of the good and bad thing for me in upwork the good thing is that you can make sure that everything is secured within upwork but it's twenty dollars at first five hundred i mean it's twenty percent uh, to the first $500, so it's really a lot for me, but that is just for me. So let me just uh, close it out. So now 20% uh, of $10 is $2, so it will be having a minus 2 here per hour, and you'll receive $8 per hour. Well, for me, it's not that bad. So I will click now on Next. right here this is the title of your uh of yourself that you're gonna put on upwork so for my friend i will put here technical support since uh he is from a technical uh, uh he is a technical support expert before so i'll just put here technical support expert professional overview just uh put here your experience this will be shown in your profile not too long just put here the important thing that you can provide to your clients and uh, let me just um find a um an information from my friend here i might ask him but let me just forward it i'm just gonna put here whatever i think that is really fit for him okay so for the professional overview if you don't have any idea about this you can also click on the question mark here so tips for a great overview describe the services you offer and your strengths highlight past clients projects accomplishment and education so for the example that i have provided i put here i have a vast experience in resolving computer issues both software and hardware i specialize in windows operating system Microsoft Office, OneDrive, and Office 365. I have a solid three years of experience working as a technical expert in Microsoft. If you are looking for an experienced and re reliable technical support expert for your business, you found the right guy. So after that, I will click Next. So in this um, page right now, we were asked to put our profile picture so when choosing a profile picture most of the time we will put our graduation picture here but if we don't have any graduation picture you can always put a decent and professional picture here i would suggest first that you will consider the lighting second is the background third is the clothes that you are wearing so in this case let me just put here my graduation picture and then let me click save so then again if you don't have any graduation picture you can always put a different picture in here or just make sure that the picture that you are going to put as well has a high resolution picture capturing a picture on your phone is totally fine after that click next now fill up the um, address here and click next for the phone number it starts with six three here so we should start with nine the plus six three is the code of the philippines or we call it area code in the united states so let me just put here the number okay we're done with the phone number let's click on preview profile okay so let's just review everything here so then again uh this is just an example of my picture now this is the overview this is my title my rate or actually with my friend's rate and the skills of my friend employment history education so you can always edit this one guys and you can submit the profile afterwards okay so if you've seen this here congratulations you're now part of upwork tips to get started so it means that your account has been approved already by upwork so again the
Okay, here uh, there are a lot of um, people that are having troubles with their account not being verified. But the key here actually is just to fill up everything. So after filling out everything, you are done with creating your Upwork account and then you can see here the feed in which you can apply for job and since our account is um, is a technical support then if you've um, seen here the account that is shown here on the main page is all about technical support or with technicalities with computer Microsoft 365 since we put Microsoft in our experience there so this is where you can apply for a job and that is how you can create your Upwork account. So thank you guys, and I will expect that by the end of the training, you will have already your Upwork account. Thank you.